Hello everyone, my name is Brant Kodrowski and this Organic Chemistry Lab video covers a gas chromatography of citrus oil experiment. This is part three, extracting citrus oil. I'll start by selecting a citrus fruit. I'll be using a lime today. I'll take that lime in a standard food grater and grate the outside of the lime to generate zest of lime. This is the shiny outer part that contains most of the essential oil. The inner pith part, the white part, doesn't contain as much, so avoid that part if you can. I'm grating the lime onto a piece of paper here, and that's just a convenient way to catch it. Now I have a pretty good amount of lime zest. I'm going to weigh it out and see how much I have. I'm using a disposable weighing boat here to weigh out the lime zest. I'm curling up the paper here to funnel it into the weighing boat. The lime zest is a little bit sticky, so you might have to use your spatula here. And I've graded out 1.38 grams of zest. This is a little more than I need, and I'm going to remove some here so I can get closer to 1 gram. It's not a problem to have a little bit more, but if you have a lot more, it might be hard to fit into the test tube that we're going to use in the next step. So I'll get it down to one gram here, and then we'll proceed from there. I'll be using this point bottom centrifuge tube to do the extraction today. The next thing will be to get the lime zest into this tube. I've got a funnel here that'll work well for demonstration purposes. You don't necessarily need a funnel, you can scrape it in with a spatula, it just takes a little bit longer. Whatever method you'd like to use, just get the lime zest into the test tube. This is what it should look like when you're done with the grating. Next, I'll extract the lime zest using hexane. I'll measure out 6 milliliters here and then add it to the tube. Hexane is a nonpolar solvent that's a really good solvent for dissolving the essential oils in the citrus peels. These are low polarity molecules like limonene, geraniol, and nerol. Next, I'll cap the tube, give it a good shake, and then let the solids settle. I've got a clean, dry vial here, which I'm going to decant the solution into. I'm pouring carefully here to leave the citrus peels behind, but get the hexane solution out. Next, I'll measure out another 6 milliliters of hexane and then add that back to the citrus zest. The idea with doing a second extraction is I'll get more of the essential oil. Extractions aren't perfect, and doing just one extraction would leave a little bit of essential oil behind. I'm going to do it twice to improve the yield. Again, I'll cap the tube and give it a good shake. Then I'll decant the liquid away from the citrus peels into the vial with the previous extraction. Again, I'm pouring carefully to leave the citrus peels behind while getting the hexane out. Now I'll weigh out about one gram of magnesium sulfate. This is a drying agent that'll be used to remove the water that comes along with the citrus zest. It's not important that you get one gram exactly, but somewhere close is good enough. You'll know you've added enough magnesium sulfate if you swirl the vial and can see the solid getting swirled up as a free-flowing powder. If it's all clumpy, you'll need to add some more magnesium sulfate. Next, I'm getting a clean, dry vial, and I'm going to determine its mass and the balance. This will enable me to determine the mass of the citrus oil by difference in the next step. Now I'll filter the citrus oil solution to remove the magnesium sulfate. I'm starting off with a tuft of cotton here from a standard cotton ball, and I will push that into the tip of a disposable glass pipette. This little tuft of cotton is going to serve as a filter to remove the solid magnesium sulfate particles from the solution. I'm going to clamp it here to a ring stand, and then I'll pipette the solution through this into that vial that I weighed in the previous step. This technique is a nice alternative to using a funnel and filter paper for filtering small amounts of liquids. The filter paper funnel strategy is good, but for small amounts, so much of the solution gets sucked up in the filter paper that it can lead to low yields. This is a good way of recovering a lot more of the material and still getting the solution filtered. In the next step, I'll remove the hexane solvent to isolate citrus oil. I'm doing this step in the fume hood to minimize exposure to vapors. Here I've got a gentle stream of compressed air that I'm blowing inside the vial to evaporate the hexane. To speed the process up, I'm lowering the vial into a warm water bath. This is water from the tap, but it's not very hot. It's important not to heat the solution too much during evaporation because the limonene is somewhat volatile, and if you heat it too much and blow on it, it's possible to evaporate away the limonene. So you have to be a little bit careful. 
Now the hexane is gone and I have just citrus oil in the vial. Now I'll measure the mass of the vial and the citrus oil and then subtract the mass of the empty vial that we determined earlier to get the mass of the citrus oil by difference. This concludes this video describing the extraction of citrus oil from limes. Stay tuned for the next video that talks about GC analysis of the citrus oil. If you found this video useful, check out the next one in the series or watch the prior video, and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. My name is Brant Kudrowski. Thanks for watching.